we had to spend another day here in Moab because it's snowing in the mountains in Colorado. So we've been exploring and hiking this morning and I sweet talked Julie into bringing me back up and let me redo this section of the trail. When I did it on my ride from outside of Canyonlands National Park to Moab, it was getting really dark in this section. So I wanted to do it earlier in the afternoon so you can see this section with better light. And then I'm gonna go on and do some of the trails in Moab itself. Hey, the wind's really blowing. You can see in that video. The good news is it's a tailwind, which is a lot easier than the headwind I had a, three days ago. Cattle guard on a bike trail. This is a, uh, a for sure a mountain biking park, maybe some ATVing too, but uh, it just looks awesome here. There's all sorts of trails. BLM set it up very nicely. Now we start the really cool downhill section. Hopefully it'll be better light when I did it three days ago at five o'clock. Sun's starting to come out a bit. I'm very excited. Let's go. I come to the uh, entrance to Arches National Park. We spent a couple days in there, pretty awesome place. It was cool to be uh, biking past it. Hotels over there to the right. This canyon on the left coming up here is Courthouse Wash. Julie and I just finished hiking that. A beautiful canyon. Look for the video on that one. So we go here to the uh, Colorado River, go across that bridge. I'm gonna, I think we can go up the canyon away, so we'll see. I think there's a bike path. If not, I'm not really seeing much of a bike path. And then I'll go into the town of Moab on their bike path as far as it goes.
Yeah, looks like we got a bike trail that goes up the road a ways. Well, it's pretty nice. We'll see how far it goes. But so far, very, very nice. Well, this has really been an unexpected surprise going up the Colorado River here. I think it only goes a couple miles, but I think I might have already gone a couple. So hopefully it goes a little further. Well, just like that, the uh, bike lane ends and you're on a two lane highway. Well, that was incredible while it lasted. couple miles of trail into Moab. <coughs> I guess I'll go ahead and do it for completing this nice little trailhead hub here. Well, it's a nice little trail into town. Maybe a little boring along the highway, but still better than being on the highway, that's for sure. Well, here's the end of the bike path, as far as I know it. You can cross over, and then it dumps you out into a street. There's a bike lane. I think there's another bike path on the other side of town. I tried to scout it the other morning. I didn't see it, so I'm gonna turn around here. My legs are hurting from hiking and biking for four weeks. I've been seeing those markings this is for the Old Spanish Trail. I guess this bike path follows the Old Spanish Trail. So the path goes two and a half miles up the canyon and I'm about ready to go over the bridge and back to the hotel here. Luckily I can go under the bridge here and bike path on the other side will take me right to my hotel. What a ride. Well, I'm going to wrap it up here outside our hotel, the Spring Hill Suites. Great place to stay here in Moab. Turned out to be 19.3 miles coming down the canyon, up the Colorado River, back and down into Moab and back. What a, what a fabulous bike path. If you're here in Moab, bring your bike and you can uh, maybe even bike up the canyon. And then you could add another eight miles to the trip where you can go all the way to Canyonlands National Park. Till my next bike ride, I'll see ya. 
As I've mentioned in our other videos of the Moab area, we really, really like the Moab area. And the plus is that you can bicycle on the road, on bike paths, on mountain bike trails, and then a ton of hiking. So it is just an amazingly beautiful area with a lot to do. Thank you for watching our video. Like it if you liked it. Please comment below and subscribe so you can stay current with our adventures.